Okay, so we're back for another installment of Pokemon Red, our nostalgia playthrough, and as you can see, we are here in the very familiar Cerulean City. This is where we can get the Cascade Badge, this is where we can fight Misty, this is where we can catch an Abra, this is where we do a whole lot of really fun stuff, including... Nugget Bridge. Now, if you guys aren't familiar, Nugget Bridge is basically just a, a little bit of a challenge going through a bunch of consecutive trainers before we get to the very end, which we face Team Rocket, and we get ourselves a Golden Nugget. But, in addition to all of what I just said, we also have the opportunity to catch Mew right here in Cascade, uh, well, Cascade, <laughs> right here in Cerulean City. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to, you know, go through and do everything I need to do before I can catch Mew. If not, it'll be in the next video. So, I'm sorry to use this video as hype for the next video, but in any case, let's go ahead and get through what we can, and if it's possible, we're gonna catch Mew, either in this playthrough or another one. Either way, you're just gonna have to deal with it. But I'm super excited, and, you know, not just to play one of my favorite games of all time, but come on, catching Mew legitimately in Pokemon Red? That's pretty sweet. Okay, let's get to it. Alright, so, as we said, we are here on Nugget Bridge, and we are going forward right now to take on the Challengers. Ultimately, all we gotta do... I said a lot, don't I? <laughs> Ultimately, I'll use it again. We just gotta get through and defeat all the trainers, and uh, we get ourselves a handy little prize. Now, we should have a Pikachu and uh, Charmeleon with us that are more than capable of taking care of every single person on this bridge. Worst case scenario, they're gonna use Water-type Pokémon because they're on a bridge, or Bug-type Pokémon because, you know, reasons. Aw, oh, crap, I didn't visit the Pokémon Center. I am... Without a doubt, the worst trainer of all time. Wow, that did sub wow substantial amount of damage. Did not expect that. Bug type aren't uh, particularly weak when it comes to electric type, but in any case, still uh, pretty excited that that uh, went very very well. Uh, Weedle, let's go ahead and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and switch out. And we're gonna go to Charmeleon, just Fire type, and then we gotta go to the Pokemon Center. In all my hype after we left Mount Moon and trying to catch a uh, an Abra, I totally forgot that I need to go ahead and heal my Pokemon. Yikes. That's, uh, that's not good. Well, whatever. I'm so excited. I think this will be the first time I've ever legitimately caught Mew in Pokemon Red and Blue. Uh, I think Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, I had all three, because I was a very spoiled kid, I guess. I had to get the Game Shark in order to get it, but there is a legitimate way. It's not really a hack, necessarily, but a series of events that'll change the, uh, the binary of Pokemon. I, I, I don't know. I, maybe I should just wait until we get to Mew. I get too excited and I jump forward, but, uh, it's Mew, come on, it's sweet! Oh, whatever. Anyway, I, uh, I'm trying to set a challenge for myself where I'm only catching the Pokemon that I plan on using against the Elite Four, which is why I've come so far and even caught a Clefairy, but I'm not using it. I'm only using Charmeleon and Pikachu. Ultimately, I'm trying to do my own version of the Nuzlocke challenge, which I know is kind of crappy because I'm not really following the rules uh, that closely, but uh, neither of my Pokemon have been knocked out or defeated at all since I started this playthrough, which is why they're at a reasonably high level. Um, I managed to uh, grind like crazy to get them both up to about level uh, 14, 15-ish, somewhere around there, before I even made it to Pewter City Gym Leader Brock and got the Boulder Badge. But, whatever. That's in the past. Let's focus on this. Wait, Pidgey was faster than Pikachu? What? Typically, Pokemon move first if they have a higher speed stat. It's weird to consider that a Pidgey can be faster than Pikachu. But Pidgey, and most bird-type Pokemon in general, are uh, are weakened to Electric-type, which means Pikachu has a substantial advantage. Oh, and Nidoran, female. See, I want to get Nidoking. He's part of my uh, potential lineup down the road. I, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, get him up to Snuff, because I'm still deciding on what I want my ultimate Pokemon lineup to be. Now, Abra, who I'm going to be going and catching here now, so this is kind of a... a segue into uh, catching Mew. You need the Abra here. There's a couple of ways to do it in this game, but Abra is part of that. So, uh, Abra is not only going to be useful in catching Mew, but he's also a Pokemon that I want to use to raise up to a Kadabra and then trade out and trade back in uh, into being an Alakazam, because Alakazam is one of my favorite Pokemon. I uh, was really excited in getting a Mega Alakazam in the later, more recent versions of the games, but obviously that clearly does not exist here in Pokemon Red. But, I digress. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, Alakazam and Kadabra both are among two of the most powerful special attack using Pokemon in the entire series. That counts all games, all 700 some Pokemon, all genders, and you know, Chinese doesn't really matter, it's more of a cosmetic thing. But sometimes gender does matter. All genders, all Pokemons matter. Anyway. But yeah, Kadabra I think is in like the top maybe 40 or something like that, and Alakazam is in the top, like, 20. It's actually a really interesting list. If you can check it out, I think it's on Bulbapedia. You can check out the list of uh, special attack users. But unfortunately, while Alakazam has an extremely, extremely powerful special attack, he's really weak to, uh, well, pretty much everything. I mean, I know Psychic-types are weak against Psychic-type, but he has a really low special defense and a pretty 
I think, moderately, almost marginal at best, I would say, uh, standard defense, which is uh, unfortunate, which means that if your Alakazam is fast enough to pull off the, uh, the attack first, uh, assuming you know you're going up against an opponent that can't withstand it, then Alakazam should one-hit KO the majority of the Pokemon he goes up against. Especially if you're using a, like, the psychic move, the psychic type psychic move. Oh, I used Growl, damn it. I thumbed the, the down button on the D-pad on accident. Damn it. That's all right. Zubad's weak when it comes to electric types anyway, which, again, Pikachu has the massive advantage here. I actually, I haven't played some of the classic Pokemon games like this in many, many years. There's been so much, uh, so many video games that have been occupying my time and holding my interest, but specifically with Pokemon, the later, the later games are, I mean, jeez. I think Pokemon Emerald and Soul Silver are games that I've played through like two or three times each. I've, uh, I'm really excited to get to those eventually, but once again, getting a little ahead of myself, we'll focus on Pokemon Red here. Pidgey, bad choice. High level, though. The goal here is to get Pikachu as high as possible throughout this uh, Nugget Bridge playthrough, or uh, I guess not really a playthrough, but fight through, just so we can get him as high level as possible. Because if this is what we have to deal with on Nugget Bridge, you can imagine that Misty's not really going to be a pushover, but she has Water-type Pokemon, which means Pikachu is going to have a major advantage there as well. Obviously, water, electricity, and all that. But it's not even our goal. If I can, if there's enough time in this video, and I did one video that was really, really long in this playthrough, just because I wanted to see if I can get through Mount Moon in a relatively quick time, and you can, but I uh, kind of just, you know, rambled on a bit, and it took forever. But anyway, 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 if we can't get to the uh, whole Mew catching thing, at least you'll know that you need an Abra, and I'll show you right where to get it. Actually, it's in the grass patch that you can see right to the left. Uh-oh, a level 18 Mankey, that's not good. Uh, let's switch out, because Pikachu is going to be weak against uh, fighting ground rock types. And Mankey can do a variety of those moves, so we want to make sure that we are doing our best to avoid him taking that damage. Having Pikachu going against a fighting type is not very good. Yikes, Karate Chop is pretty powerful too. Yikes, we've got to take him down fast. Yeah, my Pokemon are nowhere near as powerful as they need to be. Yikes, oh no, Charmeleon, don't die. Crap. If he has another Mankey, we're going to be in serious trouble. I didn't see how many Pokemon he had. How many did he have? Oh, that was it. Alright, yeah, suck it, B. I never thought in my wildest dreams I would ever be intimidated or worried about a level 18 Mankey. But I think he's the toughest one on the bridge, even counting the Team Rocket member that's there. But let's head on down to the Pokemon Center, heal our Pokemon, and continue on our journey. Beat him and catch that damn Abra. Now having Pikachu first in your lineup, or any Pokemon that knows a paralyzed move in addition to like a sleep type attack, that would be the goal. If you can, I would suggest using a grass type Pokemon to catch Abra first, just so you can use a sleep move to put him to sleep and then paralyze him after. But you gotta be careful though, because Abra can and does, eh, I mean, I, I don't know if it's like a random number generated thing or RNG thing, but I feel like your Pokemon at random can wake up anywhere between uh, two and five rounds in a battle. So if you are fighting an Abra and you put him to sleep first, make sure Thunder Wave paralyzes him and throw your Pokeballs like crazy. Because otherwise, he might just wake up and teleport out of there. And a lot of times when Abra wakes up, he just pieces out immediately. So you gotta, you gotta be quick. You gotta be quick, and you gotta catch him, and that's what we gotta do. Now, for those of you guys that wanna catch Mew, and if you are watching this specifically for that purpose, uh, it's a very, very important what comes next. But we'll worry about this fight first, because this might might be a little bit of a challenge. Alright, how much damage we got? Now that is a little bit of damage. Wrap's super weak, but it'll hit multiple times, probably two to three. Nah, just twice. That's not bad. Alright, Zubat once again. Nope, we're not going to switch out. Alright. Hey, level 22. Nice. I'm not exactly sure what level Misty's uh, water Pokemon are down in the uh, down in the gym here, but uh, even so, we should still have a pretty decent chance of taking her down in one hit with every attack. Okay. Actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and worry about catching our Abra. Uh, yeah, we can probably fit that in here, I think. That's, that is plenty of time. Alright. Yeah, we can do that. I'll catch my Abra first for this playthrough, but it's very important that, and I'll reiterate this in the next playthrough too, when we specifically talk about how to catch Mew, is that, uh, oop, nope, nope, doop, 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 doop. I already got him. Did they heal them all? Get out of there. 
Sorry, I always hit the button one too many times. Okay, so it's very important that uh, in order to catch Mew, there are two specific things that you gotta do, and both of which are right involved uh, uh, north, eh, north-ish of Nugget Bridge here. So first and foremost, in the grass patch to the left on the opposite side of the water, you can see the border right there. That's where you catch Abra. There is a trainer there though, the best thing to do at this point is to not fight him. Stay out of his view. Go all the way up, go all the way around, and then come down. And I'm just going to save it just in case I am still within his line of sight. Now, I'm not going to catch Mew here yet, but in order to make sure that we catch him, we got to avoid that guy. Now, in Pokemon Red and Blue, the trainers don't rotate their standing points, so he's never going to turn himself. He's always going to face north like that. So we can just browse around down here and catch our Abra, and then we won't have to worry so much about you know, screwing things up. If you fight that guy, it's ruined. There are other ways to get Mew down the road, yes. But the best bet is to just not even risk it because this is the easiest possible way. All right, let's go and use Thunder Wave. Paralyze Abra and see if we can throw ourselves a Pokeball and catch this mother effer. Fuck, he used Teleport. Okay, well, there we go. So he could still pull that off. Now, the reason why we need to have an Abra anyway is because of the fact that he knows Teleport, specifically that reason. So, Teleport, like many of the other HMs, is one of those few attacks or abilities that allows you to use it outside of battle, which means that that'll be essential in us getting the uh, getting Mew. Now, in order to catch Mew, we kind of have to trick the system a little bit, and I'm only getting into that now, even though we'll be catching Mew in the next video, because it's important that we have Abra for this. So, you know, but I don't want to spoil it. We'll, we'll focus on that in just a minute here. Let's just run through this. Get out of here, Kakuna. Come on. I need to see how hard it's going to be to catch Abra. Come on. Damn it. The very first Pokemon I see is a bloody Abra. And then now all of a sudden he's not even showing up. Whatever. I don't know if Thunder Wave will work, but I'm going to try it again. You know, I don't know if Abra can use it to get out of there. Like... Okay, if I use Thunder Wave and paralyze him, I don't know if I'll be able to... If I'll be able to catch him, though, because he still might be able to use Teleport even if he's paralyzed, but I don't know. I'm going to throw a Pokeball just by chance and see what that does. We're not... I don't think we're in a position yet to get the Great Ball. If I'm not mistaken, we don't see Great Balls until... Where? Uh, Vermilion City? Uh, SSAN times. I think we get our first Great Ball in that area someplace, like in the trash can or something. God damn it! I want a damn Abra! Come on, this is getting ridiculous. Kakuna, Oddish, Pidgey. GTFO, bitch. The only Pokemon I want is the very first thing that we saw. Come on, Abracadabra. Pidgey puss. Fuck. Actually, he's kind of high level. Whatever. I can grind in here for a little bit and get my levels up down the road. I'll do that in between playthroughs. So in the next video, after I've caught Abra, my Pokemon should be leveled up relatively reasonably. But, uh, let me just... Yeah, there we go. All right. Abra, sweet. I don't like that little tail thing he's got. That hentai tentacle coming out the back. Ooh, gross. He's level 8. Perfect. He's weak. Uh, let's go ahead and just see if we can throw a Pokeball. It's really all that I can do at this point. Up in B. He'll break out for sure. Fuck me! Damn it! All right, we'll try again. I, that's really all that I could do, because he's going to use Teleport to get away immediately. Bloody Kakuna. I might have to break my uh, break my focus, catch, say, an Oddish in here. Hopefully he knows, like, a, a Sleep Powder move, and he might not. Actually, you know what? I have a Clefairy. Clefairy can use it. All right, let's do that. That's a good idea. All right, let's try this. That's a good idea. There we go. All right. Yeah, we gotta make sure we stay out of his line of sight. He is essential. If you fight that guy, yikes. Bad move. Do not, uh, do not fight that guy, no matter what you do. Alright, so we're gonna go down here. I kept Clefairy. He's in the, or it is in the PC. I can't really say what gender it is because there's no gender identification in this game. Uh, for Pokemon, anyway. Alright. Let's see here. Withdraw. All right, all right. I think Clefairy no sing. Please, Clefairy no sing. Nope, wrong one. Fuck, Clefairy, you useless bitch. All right, never mind. I thought for sure he knew sing, but doesn't. I know Jigglypuff does, but I don't even know. Ugh, I don't want to go all the way back there to catch a Jigglypuff. Screw that. I don't know if you can catch one in the patch of grass off to the left over here, but whatever. Do, 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 do. All 
All right, let's go back up and try my luck here. All right, well, how about this? Just for the sake of time, I have a better idea. I'll go ahead and just cut the video here short. You know what I'm going to do. You know my plan. I'm going to go ahead and try to spend some time over here grinding up some levels, catch myself an Abra, and then in the next video, we will show you exactly how to catch Mew. That is the biggest goal here. Honestly, Pokemon Red, one of my favorite games. You know that I've said that a few times already, but Mew is the goal. That's what we want to do. We want to catch Mew, and we are going to. So I will see you guys in the next installment of our Nostalgia playthrough for Pokemon Red, where we will capture ourselves a Mew, and I will show you how to do it with every step of the way outlined in detail just so you can do it yourself when you're ready. But thank you guys for watching this. I always appreciate when you guys support me and you're hanging out here. We're going to do more of these playthroughs uh, down the road. So stick around and keep watching this one and show me some love with some likes or some comments down below. Helps me out. Make sure that uh, I know that you're enjoying this as much as I'm enjoying playing it. But if you just want to watch, that, that's cool too. You can do that. But anyway, thanks a lot, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.